Okay, this is uh, a Sharp GF9696 that I got by way of Sasha. And over here is a Sharp GF508, also known as a GF9696, gotten by the way of Pepin. Anyhow, this one here is weird because you don't dare put a tape in here. It will fast forward and rewind, but okay, you turn the tape off, it'll fast forward, it'll rewind, and if you hit play, I don't know if you can see that. So you're getting close. See that there? See how the uh, caption wheel is jerking along it's not actually going smoothly it's jerking along now if you look over here in the corner right by my finger see that or you don't see that we're gonna go over here I'll open this one up and if you look see by my finger there there's that line that black line that's a drive belt this one here is missing the drive belt. I guess that's why it doesn't work right. Anyhow, the radio on this one here plays. Turn the radio on. Wait. Radio, radio, radio. Here it is. Radio works fine. Well, there's the radio. Let me go over here to this one. The new 1037. Oh, well, this one jams. Playing what we this want. This gets loud. Enough of that. Let's turn that off. Wait. Okay. Now, going over here, this one plays really well. The tape does, that is. Let's see, first of all, how do you get the radio on? One of these buttons turns the radio on. Or, oh, AM. Epic. There we go. So there's the radio. Tape in. There's that. Go to the radio. Now we hit the APLD or APSS. Hit one. Went wrong way. Try that again. Hit that. Oh, you gotta have it in play, right? Okay. No. Ah. Wait. Hit one. Why will it work now? I don't know. Let's see. Trent. Thought I had this all worked out. Okay, put it back in play, which is no. Why do I have a big stop button? There we go. Maybe it's this way. There we go. See there it comes back to the beginning. There's the beginning. That's what I was trying to show you. And this auto program thing does work. But this one here only works in stereo wide. It won't work. It won't work in stereo. It only comes out of one channel. That the uh, this channel here. This channel over here. See it? Something wrong here. I don't know quite what. But this one over here works fine. But the tape tape looks funny. And over here, this one will work in stereo wide. And it'll work in mono. You put it in stereo. Wait. There we go. See, there we go. That's it. Because these are in Japanese. I can't remember which is which. That's that channel. This is that channel. So, but now if I crank it up, if I crank this one up full, leave this one here, throw it in mono, that channel works. There we go. And if I throw it to stereo wide, that kind of works again. So if I put it in stereo, don't do work in stereo, but the other channel works both ways. Mono and stereo wide. Okay. Anyhow, that's and then this these buttons up here work differently than uh, how do you get the radio on? Let's see, FM. No, okay, that turns it off. FM, this. 
Alright, so the radio off. This switch, I don't know what this thing does. You pull it out to do that. This one over here, you hit it or tap it, and it. Oh wait, if the radio, the tape player, wait. Uh, it's supposed to play radio. Oh, where'd the radio go? Okay, there we go. And if you hit this, there we go, it taps it off. Anyway, like I say, these are both very confusing for me. Uh, and this one here has got the speed control and the speed. Oh, that's right. We can show this real fast. Let's see here. Play tape. Wait. This works. Slow it down. Speed it up. That one's got a really good tape deck. This one over here has got a questionable tape deck because it's missing that uh, belt over here. And so they both have issues. They both work, but I'm not thrilled about either one of them. Uh, that's all I know, and I'll throw this up on YouTube, and you can have a gander at both of these. Okay, so there's that and this one here, and I don't know. See ya. Thanks. Bye.